G'day, Lockie here. So I've just come back from paternity leave and one of the things that happened while I was out is Kubernetes 1.7 release dropped. So I've taken some time today to read through what's out there and I figured I'd challenge myself. And for those of you like me uh, that don't like reading a whole lot, kind of paraphrase uh, what Kubernetes 1.7 is and why you should care. And I'm gonna try and do that in under two minutes. So bear with me, um, hopefully uh, this will be fun. So Kubernetes 1.7, if you don't know uh, the odd number releases, so 1.7, 1, um, 1.5, they're more um, feature ri rich releases as opposed to the even numbers which are more focused on stabilization. I'm gonna quickly go through right now some of the highlights of that release um, and just congratulations to everybody out there who's contributed to another fantastic release. So uh, under security we've got um, stable network policy now, so that's been promoted. We've got alpha support for encryption at rest in etcd, so your secrets will actually be encrypted in etcd inside etcd, so that's a good uh, security feature there. Uh, Kubelet cert rotation, audit logs, and node authorization at mission control plugins. So this is around isolation and making that, rounding out that RBAC story there. Stateful workflow uh, workloads, so stateful set, so pretty much this uh, resource controller is on par with all the other resource controllers right now. Um, we can do parallel deploys. We have a whole different um, upgrade models, rollbacks and rollouts are configurable. So if things fail, you actually have an opportunity to stop and do something else. Uh, daemon sets, big one out there. Now support rollback, so you can actually roll back a daemon set. Fantastic. Uh, store, storage OS volume plugin is available, so that's to use local storage um, as a storage class. Um, and now that's all been bubbled up. A great feature there, fantastic. Um, CRI enhancements, so now with decoupling from Docker specific deployments, you can use CRI, so that's another great feature there for the folks using CRI. API aggregation, this is a great one. Um, if you don't know, it's about actually running Kubernetes-like APIs alongside the Kubernetes default API, so you can actually carve up and have API controllers um, alongside of the default one that you deploy. And this is kind of carrying on where third-party resources and goes into um, kind of having your own extensibility options in Kubernetes there. Um, external support for administ uh, administ admission controllers, I should say. And now we've got some um, policy federated resource placement. Now, the only other thing apart from that is third-party resources have been deprecated and in 1.7 is the last release where you can use them. There's some documentation on migrating off them to what are now called custom resource definitions or CRDs if you see them out there. That's kind of it. Great release. Hopefully I summarized and gave you all something that you were looking for. Thanks for joining. Cheers.